In this video, I'd like to talk about the genus Rhombodera, aka the giant Asian Sheomontis. There are three main species you find in this genus that are popular in the pet trade. There are a bunch of species actually under the umbrella of Rhombodera, but the three main ones you find over here at least are this one, which is the Kirbii or Timor Shieldmantis, and then you've got the Migra and the Basilis, which are both giant Shieldmantises basically. But there are many, many others, and uh, I've noticed in other countries such as Germany, they have. Uh, a few of the different ones that are more popular than these guys. Let's have a closer look. For anybody the slightest bit observant, maybe noticed in a different room entirely. It was 29 degrees in there, and then the heating came on. I couldn't stand it, so I take this side, I've come downstairs, and we're going to do the rest of this on the kitchen table. So hopefully the lighting will be okay. And uh, we're going to have a closer look at this girl. I think I mentioned, but this one is the uh, Rhombodera Kirbii, which is my favourite of all the uh, shield mantis. Let me just move this paintbrush. She sometimes likes the paintbrush. She's not in the mood today. Now, now, now. We're going to try with a, a meal worm in a minute. But uh, for now, hey, turn around. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, she doesn't want to turn around. Come on. You have to be careful when you pick them up. They've got little hooks on their back. <laughs> she does not want to face the camera. Ah, there we go. Now I'm going to mess with the camera, as I say. I'm actually here on the kitchen table. So, see if she'll... Ooh, she's in a bad mood. What I'm going to do is feed her and then uh, talk a little bit more about her. I'm saying feed her, I'm hoping she'll eat. Let's have a look. Nice squishy one. This is what I'm doing. There you go, what's that? Yeah, she's just going to watch it, isn't she? There we go. And she's having a munch on that now. Like a dog with a bone. These are very voracious and uh, won't think twice about eating the brothers and sisters, so make sure you keep them alone. Just chowing down on that poor little mealworm there. I'm going to take the opportunity to tell you where these guys come from. As I mentioned earlier, this one is from uh, is a Timor Shield Mantis, so uh, of course she's from Timor Island. Other species in the genus are dotted around Southeast Asia. You can find them in Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and the more tropical areas and rainforests of southern Chinese mainland. The thing about all those places, they have one thing in common, and that's the type of weather. It's hot, sticky, and humid. And the best way to keep your animals is to reflect their natural habitat. So in this case, temperature between uh, 21 and 27 degrees C. That's 70 to 80, for those of you watching in black and white still, America. But... If you want a pet to have a longer life, I suggest keeping them at a lower temperature, lower end of that spectrum, around about 21, 22, should be fine. See, insect growth rates are ultimately their and life cycle is directly related and linked to their ambient temperature throughout their life. So please bear this in mind when you keep your pet at 35 degrees and it dies of old age in eight months. These mantis do like it reasonably high humidity, maybe 60 to 70%. And if you don't have a bioactive setup with damp substrate and damp moss to keep it up there, you're probably going to have to miss them quite frequently. I would say this genus definitely requires you to invest in a digital hygrometer. Like all mantis, these need an enclosure that's a minimum of three times the length of the mantis in height and twice the length in width. And speaking of size, he's quite a large mantis. 
and they usually grow around four to five inches which is 10 to 12 and a half centimeters so you can need quite a, a, a reasonable size or height of uh, enclosure for them it's really easy to tell the difference between male and female with roms and you do it like you do it with any other mantis you just count the number of sternites which are also known as segments on the abdomen males have six females have eight of course if they're adults then it's easier still because of the wings if you want to try and mate these guys then it's best to wait three or four weeks after their terminal molt to get them in both in tip-top condition and I hope you got loads of males handy because it's hard work trying to keep the female jaws away from the male during coitus even without mating the female will still usually construct around five to six or a theca and if they are fertile then it's always a good idea to remate them after they've constructed around two maybe three a theca to ensure the best results when your theca is kept at high temperature and a similar humidity level as the parents and you should see them hatch between four and six weeks the hatch rate for these guys is phenomenal around 100 to 150 nims per theca if not a lot lot more if you have the Othecas in a small container, which is pretty standard practice, then you're going to need to get the nymphs out of there quite quickly after they've hatched, or they will overcrowd and it will end not well with a lot of die off as a result. I mean, you're going to get die off anyway. All booths end up with die off, but you can keep as many alive as possible by splitting them up and getting them into separate containers or into a much much larger place so they don't overcrowd these are a super cool species to have in your collection i've got quite a few of them in different stages and color morphs they're quite easy to keep and even easier to feed if it was on the fence whether to get a mantis as a pet then look no further than the giant shield mantis they're lots and lots of fun they're quite easy and they're good for beginners to start with not too many demands and really really are loving and caring and gentle and sensitive until you give them something to eat then they're just monsters right i'm gonna say this video is a wrap but if there's any particular species you want me to talk about then please drop its name in the comments below and if i have one or i've had one then i'll do a video about it at some point in time if you found this video useful then give it a like and subscribe and help me out maybe share to your Facebook or Twitter and don't forget to tickle my bell so you get to know when I upload new content and one more thing if you're interested in terrariums and ecospheres then check out the discord server link in the description below and maybe we can chat there thanks for watching see you next time